So now, ask Yannicka just to show us live in Telespace Portal how we look at multimodality imaging of lymph nodes within the abdomen. So if you have a look here now, at the top row there, I've got the 29th of August, 2013, 16th of December. These are separate points during the cycle at which the patient has presented to radiology. At the 29th of August, now if you look at the top row above with my arrow, and then the row below, this is the, pet, the actual PET, the positron emission tomography correlation. If you actually have a look at that tumor at the 29th of August, it has significantly changed between the 29th of August to the 3rd of March 2014. But what's interesting is this. I don't need to go back to my PAC system and put images side by side to be able to look at see if there's been tumor growth or not. This becomes difficult, especially in the oncology world, when we're starting to look at processes early on. Above, we have the CT images, which is a macroscopic view of the tumor. Inferiorly, when we look at the PET, we're looking at microscopic patterns of tumor activity. So being able to correlate those two during both multimodalities gives us greater confidence to say that this has become an active tumor and it's growing over time. If you have a look at the image in the last box at the top, uh, row of CT scans on the 7th of May, you see that the large lesion there posteriorly has not been selected. We can easily just click onto this button, as you can see there, and we can select this lesion. By pressing control, just as simple as that, we can increase it significantly to capture the entire tumor border. And automatically, it will go then and go back and correlate with the PET. What's even more important is this. Even though we have selected this, and we could have selected the wrong lesion in the wrong location, this advanced system, the ISP, allows us to tell us how confident it is by selecting the right match between the first lesion on the 29th of August and to the 7th of May 2014. And in this case, it's an 88.12% match. This now gives us greater confidence and consistency and looking at tumor invasion, tumor growth, and so forth. So once this is segmented, this takes two or three clicks. We used to spend hours trying to compare images, and it was a nightmare. Through one click of a button, going from any time, we can now look at our resist criterion. Okay, We can look at the PR threshold, the P3, the PD threshold. We can see how it's now changing over time. When we look at the target lesion, we're not looking just at long axis changes. We can look at short axis changes. And we can actually look at the volume of the lesion changes over time. This is now automated. I don't need to go in there and do bi-dimensional measurements and try and calculate volumes based on slice thickness. It was three clicks of a button. It was instantaneous. It has now saved time. I can give consistent results. And it's a lot easier for the referring physician to ask me, how has the patient changed over time? And what's even more important, now we can calculate these automatic um, uh, criteria to resist protocol, and it tells me how much has the value changed over time using the resist protocol. So now, for example, it has increased in size since August 2013 to May 2014, which is about seven or eight months. It's now increased by 58.4 millimeters which is an increase of about 362%. I can approve this, and then I can copy-paste this straight back into my radiology report. What's even more important now, I can also show tabs, and I can import all of this information into my radiology report. What is even more important, the referring physician, the oncologist, now has greater confidence in radiology and greater confidence in medicine because we have invested in this technology. We're giving accurate, consistent results every single time. And this is the beauty of what this multimodality oncology software can do. So now I'll ask Anika now to uh, go now to our next. Um, we'll put in a poll now. And then we'll start talking about liver imaging segmentation for transplants.